Hello guys, welcome back with another video at Linksy. Welcome back, and today we're going to be looking at the new FLC slash patch update. Namely, we're going to start with the Sisters of Twilight and the Forge of the Date, nicknamed Forge of the Date 2.0. Forge to date has been an issue on launch of the Twisted and the Twilight because of the mechanic, how it worked and what it offered. Originally, the mechanic allowed you to, every few turns, be able to have a random event that upgraded a random item in a specific manner, or else put it on overpowered. Eventually, this overpowered was reworked a little bit so it would not lose all of the progress that the item initially had. Such as, for example, if you had the Bow of Dreams or the Dream Bow, if I remember it's called, called correctly, you could overpower it and you would be, after a few turns, have it returned back to its base state. This, even if you had already spent quite a number of times hoping and trying to get it to maximum power, it would be reverted back to its base state. After this, they updated it and changed it into something else, and we ended up with the system, which till this day was there. They much increased the power of each item, allowing them to produce quite a significant power spike in the campaign. However, it was still based on a time resource. Now, however, the system has changed completely, and we have the new system, which I must say is an incredible update, and this is what we've been wanting from the get-go. Firstly, we can see up here we have a new um, interaction, faction interaction meter, faction mechanic. The faction mechanic that we have up here is the Forge of the Date, and we can see um, 0 out of 3, which is the Favor of the Date. The Favor of the Date is a mechanic which is as much as before. Simply now, you, when you uh, fight, fight battles, you will be able to... When you fight battles, you will be able to sometimes the game glitches still, um, you will gain a favor of the date. This favor of the date, once you click on the system, will open you a new uh, interface. This interface is incredibly beautiful looking and very easily navig navigationally. You have the different uh, date blessings that you can get and the different ways you can use your uh, date's favor. You gain date's favor by winning battles and then you use it to get the gifts or upgrades. So the first thing you can see is that you can see and choose exactly which item you want and which item you want to reforge. If you reforge the item, you're going to get a strong, strong mechanic for five turns. However, then of course it will go back to the strength it was at previously. You can collect a number of date favor and use it in this mechanic, allowing you to be able to use um, and get the items you need. So let's say I want to get myself uh, the Eagle Bow, which increases the range and missile strength of my units, my items, and you want to keep upgrading it. And you can see that it tells you exactly its power, its strength and the range that it gives you. This is absolutely fantastic as it will allow us to choose the items we need when we need them. Certain items are stronger than others, certain items do more situational uh, things than others do. So having these does make incredible. My favorite, of course, still remains uh, the dream, dreaming uh, weapons and armor, as this set allows a lot of campaign mechanics, uh, such as increasing the movement range, population growth, speed, casualty replenishment, means of magic, and a uh, upkeep reduction. These of course improve and increase. You could still use the uh, reforge whenever you want and this will give you the amount of power uh, that it just boosts itself up to for five turns. Apart from this there is also the date's blessings. The date's blessings are things where you can put your uh, date favor and get yourself some buffs for your entire uh, faction faction wide for five turns. You can get for example let's say we want to get missile strength for glade guard and deep wood scouts we click over here and confirm. We'd be able to get Eagle Stalin and this will boost 10% of all the Glade Guards, Deep Wood Scouts and World Watchers for, by 10% in all armies. I believe this is a massive step forward and it's going to make using Sisters of Twilight the experience that we truly wanted and the experience that we truly have been looking for. I'm not sure what your thoughts about this new mechanic is but please do let me know. I do love it and I found it to be quite useful. I haven't done a full campaign yet because I have only had access to this uh, for a few days, well, a few days, few hours, to be honest. And of course, I can only do so much as well as my normal content. 
That said, I do believe that this is what a lot of the community wanted, and I do applaud CA for actually listening to the community, listening to what people wanted, and working closely with the SAT community. Because this is the result we get when we all uh, work together towards a goal, where we want something and we coherently explain what we're looking for and allowing um, the developers to then come up with a solution. Whereas previously, um, we had a product which we weren't very happy with. Now they have stepped up their game and given us a product which is very much improved and much more exciting. Apart from this, I must say the aesthetic is exceptionally pleasing and beautiful to look at. So let's say I'm going to get my favorite item, which is the Dream Clock. Upkeep reduction on Legendary is fantastic. We've gotten it, and now I can continue my campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this. I hope it is useful and a short summary of what uh, the Forge of Date updates actually bring. If you do want to see more of this content, please do subscribe, like the video, and tell me what you think about the Forge of Date update. That said, I wish you all a lovely day, and goodbye. Bye!